Welcome back to another clay video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the clay figures I made in the first two years of sculpting with clay. This is the very tall shelf I've been keeping my clay figures on. This is at the top of my closet. And I need a chair to even be able to see up here, so I feel like they've gone very underappreciated. I can't even remember some of them that are up here, so it's going to be nice to finally get these down and on display. I thought I would show you guys just a little time lapse of putting up the shelves. I don't know, to add a little something extra to the video, I guess. This is the room where I do all of the clay figures and everything. I guess the, you could call it the studio room. And after putting all these clay figures up, I realized I'm going to need some more shelves soon, especially if I make some more of these um, big sort of map creations I've been making lately. Now that our shelves are up, we can start looking through all of the clay figures. This guy here was from my first YouTube video. Here's a little collection of Animal Crossing. These are some of my earlier on YouTube videos too, the Clash Royale. You can tell by the face, I wasn't too good yet. Here we have the Gumby and the Adventure Time collection, starting with these snails. Now you guys have asked me before on the channel, why did I not create a video for Finn? Well, I made the video, but after seeing how the legs and the hand turned out, I decided that it was in everybody's best interest to not have that out there for you to see. <laughs> but here you can see Finn. Now these ones, oh I love these Minecraft ones, they're pretty awesome. We have a couple guys here from regular show. Here we have Rick and Morty. Here's some sort of random Nintendo guys that I've created on the channel. I love this little propeller at the top of this shy guy. Here we have Mr. Game & Watch and his final smash. Diddy Kong with his mountain of bananas. Pac-Man. I guess this is sort of the Smash Bros. collection. Here we have the indie games I've created. Forager, Untitled Goose Game, Little Nightmares, and The Binding of Isaac. Here we have one of the bigger collections, the Kirby collection. I really like all of these in here, but my favorite is definitely King DDD. Although I did have a lot of fun creating all these little mini Waddle Dees and the boss battle, Wispy Woods versus Kirby. Here's some kind of random cartoons that didn't really fit in anything else. Here we have the Pokemon collection. When I show you guys all my figures that weren't from YouTube videos, you guys will see a lot more Pokemon in there too. Here we have the Pikmin. For how much I like Pikmin, I'm surprised I've only made one thing. Um, here was sort of the first miniature stage map creation I made. This is the Hyrule Castle from Super Smash Brothers. I had this little kick for a while of making miniature video game systems, so here's a couple. I also made an Atari 2600, but I did not make the video for that. So I'll show you guys that in just a little bit when I show you all of the creations that are not from the videos. Here we have the latest map. We have Mario Kart and possibly the greatest creation I've ever made, the Super Mario World map. Now that we've gone through all of these, these are all of the ones from the video, we can start putting these up on the shelves. I realized I did miss a couple that were in videos, but those ended up in the collection of not having videos. You'll see those pretty soon though. After putting up all these figures, I realized I do not have enough space to fit more figures up here, so I got this other smaller shelf. This was going to be for all of the originals or things that weren't in YouTube videos, but everything didn't even fit onto this shelf, so I kind of just combined them all together, and I think that's cool too. Now we can break out the bucket of originals, or more so just ones not from videos. This guy is actually an original though, and so is this guy pretty scary teeth. Here we have Aku from Samurai Jack. And yeah, Chibi Robo. I made this, I think right before I started my YouTube channel and I thought it was so cool that it could plug into the wall. I used an old plug from something that was broken. I don't remember, maybe a lamp or something. 
These are all just going to be sort of random offshoot creations. These are some originals. I made these in bottle caps. Here we have Captain Olimar. Here we have the King Slime from Dragon Quest. And this is all the Pokemon I've created. Although, I realized I actually forgot a couple that were still in the bin. Here we have Purple and Brown. Very original names, right? They're from Eclamation on Nickelodeon back when I was a kid. I liked to watch that. It was pretty funny. Here we have Plank and Gary. Also some older cartoon characters. And this was my first Wispy Woods I created before I made the boss battle. This is an original, this tank. It's sort of just some futuristic tank. And here it is, my prized creation. My first clay figure I ever created. This little monkey with a banana. Here we have Alien Hominid. This is an old Newgrounds game. Eventually it came to the consoles though. As you can see here with this first Kirby, I painted on all the facial details and put a glaze on it. I really don't like that. That's something that I'll probably never do again. Here we have the Caribix logo. Some little gingerbread people. Here's the Atari I was talking about. Just some kind of random creations here. Yeah, Emmett, this was the one that was meant to be in the tutorial collection, but somehow didn't make the cut. And oh, lastly, we have this Waddle D and this little guy from Animal Crossing. And this guy isn't really clay, but I thought I'd add him in here. I didn't make him, but he's a cool little addition to the collection. He's a little needle felted hamster. He just loves to spin around all day. <laughs> so now let's get all of these up on the shelf. All of these originals, plus just ones that weren't from videos. I know I didn't show all of these, but I showed enough of them, I think, that you get the idea. It's really nice to see all of these shelves getting filled up. I can't wait to put up some more shelves and fill them with more clay figures. Even if it takes up all the walls in my room, I would be so glad to see them all displayed. And here it is, our monkey, the last little guy here. He has a nice little special place on the front of the shelf. And here it is guys, the entire Caribix clay collection. It's really crazy to see all of these figures go by. Like, it feels like I didn't really even create all of them. All of the clay and, I mean, hours into every single clay figure, some of them even a week, like the giant maps. It's really crazy to think that I made all of these. And I can't wait to make more shelves and fill them up to the brim with clay figures. I want to say a quick thank you to all of you for 500 subscribers. All of you who subscribe to my channel are awesome and it makes me seriously happy to see 500 subscribers. And it's not the number, you know, it's the people behind it. I see all of you guys commenting, and a lot of you, you know, you comment on every video, so it, it starts to feel pretty personal seeing all of your comments. And it's really cool to see the channel growing the way that it is. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my entire collection of clay figures finally displayed up on the wall. It felt really nice to finally get these shelves up and be able to just see them out in the open. Thank you all again for 500 subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one.